Hi everybody, I'm Jennifer Baddo and welcome to the Meadowbrook Middle School Virtual Lab for HOPE class. I'm going to walk you through the course just a little bit to show you um, the course online, a few things that you'll need to know and how to navigate. Now your page might look a little bit different. I am in the teacher view, so that might be a little bit different for you. You'll only see these first five things one two three four five six things actually you'll see five things up at the top here that it's a little bit different in student view but that is the very important stuff that you need in that student view i'm going to actually click over and show you the student view in just a second but i wanted to kind of go over the home page that's the same for both of us so basically here you'll have the information I will change information here and there as needed. This welcome video will be right here, so if you want to watch it again, that's where you will look. Um, you'll also have a page here with workouts, and I might add some more information to the other tabs as we need it. Here's my contact information. You can call me, text me, or email me. I'll always respond within 24 hours of work hours, and then I'll always grade your assignments within 48. Usually sooner, but occasionally things get really busy. I'll always let you know if I have days out of the office or if I'm at a training or delivering a training or whatever has happened in our schedule. Um, here you can make an appointment with me if you need to set up a very specific time. Usually lab students don't need to do that very often, but I'd like to um, offer that opportunity. That way if somebody needs an exact time, they can pick from some of the times that are open. In addition to the lab, I also have part-time students um, throughout the county as well. All right, so here's just some basic information you'll find here. This is the home page. You'll see announcements at the top of your page as well. I'm going to go ahead and load that student view right now. Um, you'll see announcements here, but you can also click on the announcements page and you'll see any of the announcements previously loaded. All right, so here's a student view. It's a little bit closer to what you'll see. You'll have those tabs over here on the left hand side. You still have the home page information that we were just discussing, and here's your tech support information for your school. All right, so over here on the left, again, like I was saying, you have those announcements. You can click here and easily see any of the previous announcements if you need to. Please make sure you're reading these. I'm only going to put stuff there if it applies to you and if it's super important, so make sure that you're looking at that. Modules. This is pretty much the meat of your course. This is the most important stuff because this is where you're going to get the information. This is where you're going to go through everything. You'll see that you have everything here that you need and you'll see that when you scroll down here these are light gray. That means if you haven't completed these items you can't get to these items. So you make sure that you complete your assignments in one unit before moving on to the next. You'll see check marks, but check marks don't mean necessarily that you've completed it, but it does mean that you have viewed it. Don't count on check marks, parents, if they're saying that they've got it done. Make sure that they're looking at grades instead. Students, make sure that you have those check marks. It's a good way for you to know kind of where you left off. So you started the other day and you left off in the middle of reading fitness lessons. There'll be a check here and then the next one wouldn't, so you'd know where to go pretty quickly. When you go to the pages, you'll basically navigate at the bottom and it'll let you um, go to the next page on the right hand side or the previous page on the left. And I'll show you a little bit of that more in a minute. All right, so this is that view that will tell you all of your classes and all of the assignments that you have in the class. Um, so here you'll see that in each unit, there's some assignments and some reading. This doesn't show you everything. I'm going to show you a little bit more in a different view in just a second. But just to kind of give you an idea, there are eight units in segment one and eight units in segment two. I'll talk a little bit more about assignments when we go to grades here. When you go to grades, you'll be able to see the due dates for your assignments as well as um, what your grade was. Make sure you're clicking on the assignment if you want to know more because I'll usually leave you a comment if I take off any points um, for an assignment. Now, if it's a quiz, it'll show you how many you got out of, out of 10, out of 15, depending on the quiz. One important thing to note is that you can retake quizzes and redo assignments up to three times. Your final grade is what sticks. Not the best, not the middle, not whichever one you want, your final grade. So if you need to review, please do so before taking, retaking anything or turning something else in. All right, that does not work for midterm and finals. That's just for the assignments and quizzes. And that's in your getting started information. You'll see that there as well. But here you'll see, this is just a blank example, but you'll have due dates. Parents, 
ask your student to see the grades tab and you can see where they are you'll see their grade you'll see what they have due you can print it as well so you can have a, a, a to-do list basically that you can scratch things out. Now when you go to the home page you'll also have a to-do list on the right hand side if you have assignments due it'll tell you there. Again this is a blank example without a student but you can see over here it says to do. This is kind of hanging into it but um, it'll say welcome to Hope Class so that information is there so you can get started. It'll give you a list it'll tell you if stuff is late as well. All right, so we've talked about the home and the announcements and the modules and the grades. OCVS dashboard is super important. This is basically my address book for you and my contact information. When I click on this here, it's not going to show you anything because it's, it's not loaded. But if you click on it, you'll be able to see that you can enter your student information and parents make sure that they, you're also entering your information so I know how to get in touch with you. That is actually going to be your first assignment, so you might as well get that done sometime, and you'll turn in screenshots for it when you get to that assignment, okay? But so those are very important. I'm going to leave the student view real quick and show you something else. All right, so I've jumped over to my view. Again, it's a little bit different. You have the student view where you only saw a few things. I have a few more controls, but I kind of wanted to show you a little bit more about those lessons. So you see what I'm saying here where you have the lesson information, you also have the assignments. As long as you're going in order, everything will go smoothly. You have those next pages. So say for instance, I am on lesson four, benefits of fitness. I wanna look through the material. I've got that previous button and that next button right here. So this is what your pages are going to look like that you're reading. Google Reader does work with this if you want it to read to you. And at the end of every unit, there's a podcast that you can have the units read to you or you can read along with the units. It's a great way to review the material, especially depending on the type of learner you are. At the end of each unit, there are also flashcards, which are super important. So here's your material. And say, okay, I've read it all. I'm going to go on to what's next. So you'll click the next assignment. It'll load. This one is going to be a quiz. Your view will look slightly different because this is my grading view, but you'll go in here and you'll take the quiz. Okay. I did want to talk about for a second, let me go back to modules here. I want to talk to you a little bit about the course. This is a health and PE course. That means there are physical exercise requirements needed for this course. So for the PE part, the physical education part, you will be logging workouts. Okay. These are done at home, not at school. Um, Make sure that you're logging them. It'll talk more in depth about that when you get to this assignment. I'm going to open it up in just a second, but I want to point out really quickly here, those flashcards I was talking about are right here, usually before the quiz, and the podcast is at the end of each unit. Okay? So let's talk, take a look real quick at this activity drop box for the physical activity log. All the assignments are explained on each page, but if you ever have questions, just reach out. But here you have a video that you're going to watch before you do your activity logs. And then down here, yours will look slightly different. This is my teacher view. But you'll have a log that you'll fill out. And it tells you what kind of activities you can log and how to log them. And there's a whole chart here. So just to kind of give you a heads up that that's coming at the end of every unit. So if you're starting to work out, just start logging it. That way, by the time you get to this assignment, you'll know what you're doing. All right, so I'm going to go back over to the home page. That kind of covers everything in the units. I do want to talk about this little menu button up here on the left-hand side. That's called a hamburger menu. Looks like a hamburger. If you click on it, do you notice how that side menu goes away? If you need a bigger screen view, you can just click on that and turn it off and on. But if you ever think you've lost it, that's how you get it back. All right, so that's the information for the course. Again, my contact information is here. You'll be getting more information as the weeks go by, so keep an eye out for that, and I look forward to working with you all. I will be popping into your virtual classroom. Uh, Ms. Jacobs will be your main daily contact as far as attendance, and day-to-day -day you'll see her, um, but you'll see me pop into that virtual classroom with her as well. If you have any questions, just reach out. More information will be coming. Thanks.